Hello friends, I'm Dr. Tameen. I'm here with another topper from the recently conducted AIMS exam, INICT exam. Uh, please introduce yourself and uh, tell your name, your rank, your college. Yeah. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Ajay Shunoy from Karwar Institute of Medical Science, Karwar, 2016 batch. I, my journey start with Bhatia started since the last five months from July after my internship. Since then onwards, I've been attending my regular classes uh, actually, uh, Ajay, I think your college is new uh, from what I understand. Yes, sir. And, was, uh, yes, sir. You are which batch? Uh, 2016 batch. 2016. Ours was the first batch. First batch. Okay, so newly opened college. You are the first batch, first student to have got through. Yes, yes. Actually, I, I think one thing we realized in so many years, ki if the one student, if he is able to get through in, in uh, National Institute from a college, it kind of like opens the doors for all the other uh, juniors. True, true. And they, they, you have now set a trend that I'm sure many of your juniors in your college will, yes, sir, yes, sir. you know, be motivated to think. And it will change the entire environment of the college. Everybody will be motivated to study more, to go to the library more. Yes, so yes, I sir. think uh, it must feel amazing to you. You Definitely. have done such an amazing job for your college. I'm sure your entire college must be proud. We are all very proud of you, obviously. Yes, sir. Um, so huge congratulations uh, the outside, outside itself. So Ajay, I'm sure your juniors, particularly your college, will be interested in knowing how you studied, what you did, mm -hmm. how to crack this exam. So any input from your side uh, would be more than welcome. So if you can describe a little bit about how your preparation was. So I actually, I loved studying, sir, even from the, the start. So I used to, I was not a uh, rank student or something like that from the beginning, but I used to do the basic things like attend my clinics regularly. Whatever cases I used to see, I used to read them up from standard books. So even from that time, I had a pretty good understanding of the subjects. Even my teachers, they really helped a lot. They've been guiding me throughout the five years. They actually believed in me more than I, I did. And they supported me throughout, sir. Great, great. So uh, see, let's uh, lay out a plan for somebody who is now, who are doing internship, what they should do. Somebody, somebody who was undergraduate, what they should do. You started your preparation, you said when? From third year. Third year onwards. Okay, so somebody from third year, I think if they follow your footsteps, then surely they'll be all able to, you know, come yes, up to yes. your uh, thing. Hmm. So uh, how did you start exactly in third year? You were using standard textbooks or what were your... Yes, sir, I used to, for the important topics, I used to refer the standard textbooks. Okay. Then the rest of the things with other, your yeah, normally. Okay, to okay, okay, okay. So in the classes, uh, you joined us in the month of uh, July. July. June. Yeah, after, July. After so how was your typical week? Like, uh, how uh, what were you doing after the class got over? So first I had was anatomy class. I was, even from the beginning, I wanted to crack this November INICT. So I was very sure about that. So uh, I, after every day, I used, uh, no matter what, how, however tired I was, I used to finish it, whatever portions was finished on that day, I used to finish it by night. So by that time, if five days was given for a particular class, my that subject would have been over by five days. The next day, I used to solve questions. I used to revise once again the entire thing, and I used to start uh, solving the questions. So by f five to six days, I was able to complete the whole t whole subject, sir. Great. I was not waiting for the all the classes to get over. It, this requires a lot of determination and uh, persistence. Almost, I think, ten more than 10 hours per day. Yes, sir. So how were you able to sustain through the entire phase? So minimum, I had my, my target was 10 hours per day. Sometimes I used to go till 14 hours. I used to start my day at 6 o'clock in the morning. Then I used to read theory mostly in the morning because I was very active during that time. So by the evening, I used to get a little tired. I used to take breaks as well. In the afternoon, I used to take a nap for one hour. Then during the night, I was really very, I was really tired, so I could not focus that much. During that time, I used to review my grant tests or do revision or something, which was more like a passive reading. So rather than going some actively, okay. I used to do those things so that time will not get wasted. Fine. So one aspect of preparing is that you go through all the subjects. You you attended all the classes? Or yes, you yes some, You attended all yes. the classes. Okay, so one aspect is attending all the classes, making your notes. Yes, definitely. Um, but the important plan is uh, revision. So how do you ha handle the revision part? Because you didn't have time. Mm -hmm. The class just got over. Mm -hmm. I don't think you had time for three mm -hmm. revisions. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, first three months, I attended the classes regularly. Uh, the I, d I was able to finish even during the breaks. Like we had five days break or uh, like, uh, like a week break. During that time, I used to watch those LMRP videos. So by that, I used to make some small points. 
so okay. that, because the classes would go on till November, no sir. Mm-hmm. So it was not so such. So you were not waiting for it. You mm-hmm. were able yeah, to finish yeah. the subjects ahead yeah, of time. Such subjects, I was not wasting my days in during the that time. Whenever break was there, yeah, you were yeah, doing yeah, LMRP. Yeah, doing that subjects. So how did you find the LMRP content overall? Sir, it's really good, sir. Actually, okay. they'll finish a subject in like eight hours, mm-hmm. and that to high yield topics. So mm-hmm. even like a basic question, you can answer them, sir. Great. Like little concepts, you'll get with that. But basic questions which everyone can answer, that will not be left behind. So you can answer them. Great. So what blows my mind is that you are from a college which is new. Um, you've got first batch and you've got such a good rank. You did not have time for three revisions. Normally, you know, every year we used to finish the course by October and then people used yes, to have yes. enough time to revise once before the INICT. So despite not having so much time now, you were still able to get such a good rank. My thinking is if you had that kind of time, maybe you would have been, you know, a single digit rank, maybe first, may, you, you never know. I mean, that's really amazing performance on your side. Thank you. So um, what extra, if you had to tell a few things that what extra you think you did to, to get this rank compared to all your friends, the competition see, in the institute also, how are you doing in the class test? Yeah, that was my commitment, sir. Hmm. I I was committed to come first in every my in all of my class tests, hmm. but usually I used to get top five, top ten. Okay. But I was always planning to come first in all those. No, in Bangalore tests. batch, I think the competition is so high that if you are topping in the class itself, you can feel rest assured that you are <laughs> going to do well in the national exams. Yes, yes, sir. So because people are so motivated yes, here yes, and so hardworking, sir. great. So uh, so you were always there in the first five. Yes, yes. Usually, sir. okay, that's amazing. So what extra do you think uh, you would say you did that uh, got you this rank compared to so many people now, mm-hmm. so many people are preparing? Yes, sir, it's very important that you don't give excuses during this period of six months. You should really dedicate yourself because this exam is highly competitive. Like it has come down to points now, not even one mark. So you need to give yourself every day. Sir, I have I've worked every day, sir. There was this only one day where I couldn't work, where I had a fever. So I was really thankful to God for giving me a fever so that mm-hmm. I could rest. I was really tired. Only one day I had taken a break, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. Mm-hmm. I think that should really motivate the youngsters. <laughs> this is the way to prepare. Yes. This kind of commitment actually is needed. Then yes, only sir. you can achieve something yes, great. Yes. So, but this memory of this result will stay with you for the next so many years. Yes, and yes, it'll be one of the pleasant things you can, you know, go back to whenever you feel yes, exhausted. Sir. So amazing. So you feel the main reason why you achieved this rank was persistence. That's what you are feeling. And commitment to yourself, sir. Great. You need to stay committed. Like, I'm going to do this. You have to do it every day. Okay. There's no excuses that you can give. Even if you're tired, you have to go at it. It's it's okay if it's slow, but make sure you sit through the, sit throughout the day, sit in front of the books. That will create a discipline within yourself. So even when you're away from the books, you'll feel scared. No, I have to do it today. I can't. Okay. Yeah, that will start developing within yourself. Great. So, what faculties you thought uh, in DBMC I really impressed you? Sir, I my approach was not very perfect even from the beginning. My, then I attended Nasir sir's class. So he actually told us that you don't have to do so much. Keep it simple. Just stick to your notes and PYQs. Even I was very skeptical about it in the beginning. Like, it's such a big exam. How is this not enough? Don't we have to do a lot? There are all toppers there. But then it, I thought I'll try it out this time. So I just stick to my notes. Everything was provided with it, sir. I'm really grateful for that. So you feel the class notes were complete and you definitely. feel everything was covered in the class? Yes, notes. yes, definitely, sir. Right. And I used to give regular grant tests. Okay. So that hel- that actually helped me refine my concepts as well. Okay, and how were your uh, performance in the grand test? Grand test, in, by initially it was very bad, but then I was not doing it for my rank, sir. I used to do... A, no, but like, I think we should tell the rank so mm-hmm. that others will yes, be motivated. Yes, Even yes, if you sir. start at this rank, there's still yeah, hope yeah, of I, it, When I started, like, I used to get three-digit, four-digit ranks. Okay. By coming to my last grand test, it was 105, around something like that. I used to get out of 200, 164 questions, right? Okay. So that was my highest, sir. Great, great. So, revision, uh, how did you plan your last uh, one month, just before the INICT? Yes, sir. Uh, I finished my portions by three months. So, I had a total of five months, no, sir. So, in the first three months, I had finished all my portions. In the next month, I gave one more reading, like a proper reading. The next one month, I, I split into two and 15-15 uh, days, I 
solved uh, pre- revised sir okay so for the last 10 days i revised the entire thing okay okay so did you have a separate uh, high yield point separate book or was it the class notes only and you just colored it up and you no, just revised the class important. notes but i had maintained a small book sir for all the subjects okay like i used to find something some things uh, very confusing but i used to forget them a lot hmm. like few points i used to write that down in a different notebook that i used to revise with every revision sir okay okay even the questions that i had found it difficult i used to note it down right you give the morning session in ict or uh, evening evening session evening and how many did you attempt sir i attempted a total of 193 questions 193 great yes. great so i think you have really described your journey and i'm sure uh, people from your college will be highly motivated yes yes i so want them sir i'm sure they are going to do well as i said that one person in the college does it that kind of opens the door ki it is possible we can also do it he's yes, done yes. it we can also do it my juniors are really happy about it sir amazing yes i want them i think I... you have raised your <laughs> college's name <laughs> very high yes, and uh, obviously for all of us in karnataka and um, everywhere we are from bhatia institute also we feel very proud of your achievement thank you sir and i'm sure um, you have motivated your juniors and you'll continue to motivate uh, people around yes. you as you continue your yes, journey sir. so what subject are you planning to take ajay sir i'm from even from the beginning i'm interested in medicine sir okay so you're going to join our club <laughs> yes sir <laughs> great great <laughs> it any final words of uh, advice to your juniors my juniors sir i you had told me once that even from beginning be aggressive in your approach so that way i was able to finish it in time so i was not very stressful sir this time i was really confident while even while going to the exam i i really liked it sir okay. i was able to handle it very well so keeping it to the last minute is not it, w- it won't work out because there will be a lot of mistakes that we will be doing and you need to figure it out so starting early is a really good thing okay so i think the summary of our interview from what i could understand is um, you said keep it simple just yes, do the class yes. notes do the previous year questions yes, that's and do it, the sir. grant tests regularly yes sir so what was your frequency of grant tests in initially and then last so every 15 days i used to give one grant test, grant test. with followed up following it up with a review okay and towards the end i was actually very comfortable with all those questions so i didn't have to spend a lot of time mm-hmm. every week i used to give one sir great great so i think uh, this is really uh, given the way how i think we all tell our students ki don't go too much into other stuff just stick to the class notes just focus on the previous year questions if you have time after that then do the other subject wise yes, questions definitely so previous year questions the class notes and grant tests i think that's all that is required no need no need to even do the subject wise test questions if you don't have the time so i think that's really a very simple plan and it works so this is the example <laughs> you know we have in front of us ki this this does work so problem is ki when you go on to telegram no you get so much material so much data people want to take so many things and in front of them there is so much they want know now how to handle it because even one source to handle it and revise it three times is so difficult yes yes what are your uh, thoughts on that yes sir definitely there is because countless... you must have also felt yeah, ki yes, i, I yes. should also collect data content from everywhere yes yes sir so that even that's what i realized sir i w- even i was into that that flow as well but but i used to forget whatever i had done so i thought there is no use of reading new things rather than forget, what is the use of it correct so i kept on starting my re- i started my revision at that point okay okay so i think amazing ajay really a pleasure talking to you yeah, and i'm sure same. you're going to do great as a physician also in the future <laughs> so any particular person you want to thank uh, for all these achievements so your parents and so poor. definitely my parents my mother she has helped me a lot in this and i would like to thank my institute as well for bringing me up till this point they believed in me they have guided me my teachers my uh, my seniors and definitely my friends as well they have taught me whenever i missed my class uh, they have helped me with my things fine fine i would like to thank all my teachers at bhatia as well because it wouldn't have it possible without them great. without their inspiration i couldn't have done it great 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 so congratulations once again to ajay thank you so much